Hello my friends and welcome to another video. I'm Jeanette with Beeble Vintage Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Christmas reindeer cookie card. I am using Fluid 100, 100% cotton watercolor paper. I have a mechanical pencil and I drew out my little reindeer by folding a piece of scrap paper, cutting out the shape that I wanted and then drawing it in. The colors that I'm using are from my Muno pan paints and the colors are raw umber, burnt umber, permanent rose, indigo, and black. I'll also be using a gel pen. This is a Signo broad tip, but if you don't have a gel pen, you can use a Posca pen, you can use gouache, acrylic paint, whatever you like. I also have a Micron fine liner in a size 005, a glass of water, a paper towel, and three brushes size 8, 4, and 0. These are silver black velvet brushes. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to use the raw umber to paint in the entire reindeer. And I'm making sure that I keep this nice and light. So I have mixed a lot of water and you can see that I've already pre-mixed my colors into my little ceramic palette. So I'm making sure that the paintbrush is nice and wet and that the color is nice and diluted. And I am going to paint in the entire reindeer. And don't worry about staying within the lines. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can outline it with the fine marker and define our edges if necessary. Now that I've got the raw umber, I on the paper I'm using the burnt umber to add a little bit of shadow and to make it look like most of the cookies <laughs> that I've ever baked burnt all around the edges. <laughs> Maybe not as bad. So I'm just dropping a little bit of the burnt umber around the edges and I'm, while the paper was still wet with the raw umber. And then I'm just dropping in a little bit here and there just to give the cookie a little bit of texture. And then just defining my, edge, my edges a little bit. Now that that is all dry, I am going to take the color black and I'm using a size zero brush and I'm going to paint in his little eyes. You can also use a Posca pen to paint in the eyes or a magic marker, whatever you find easiest for you. And the same goes with the nose. You can use a Posca pen, acrylic paint, whatever you have on hand, whatever makes it easiest for you. And now that the nose is painted, I'm mixing a little bit of the burnt umber with the red to give it a little bit of shadow on the left hand side. And while I wait for the nose and the eyes to dry, I'm going to use my gel pen and I'm going to create the icing by tracing my pencil lines. Now off camera, I did go over the, the uh, gel pen a second time just to broaden the icing. And again, a Posca pen would be perfect for this. And you can make his antlers however you like. I just thought this was really pretty. You can see here that I've thickened the lines with the gel pen. Again, off camera, I did go over the gel pen twice. Now I want to create a little bit of shadow. I'm using my size eight brush and I've picked up a little indigo and it's kind of diluted. Indigo is a really strong color. And I'm just going around one side of the reindeer and adding a little bit of shadow. And once I have my lines down, I'm picking up a heavier consistency and adding it to the edge closest to the reindeer. And once I have that down and while the paint is still wet, I'm just picking up water 
and maybe a little paint if I need to. And I'm just spreading it around and giving the paper just a little blue tint. Here you can see I'm picking up a little bit more of that indigo and just adding it around the edges to deepen the shadow closest to the reindeer. Now once that was dry I decided I wanted to create a border because you know me and my borders. So I picked up my size 8 brush and a little bit of that red paint and I just ran it across the edge of the paper and created my little red border. Now you can see that I'm not trying to be perfect with this border, but if you like, you can use a ruler to make sure that you get perfectly straight lines. Now I'm going to take my size 005 micron pen and I'm going to create a little bit of shadow on one side of the icing. I'm keeping all of my shadows on the left hand side of the icing just to make it look a little bit more dimensional like it stands out from the cookie itself. And you can use a thicker nib if you like. I just wanted to keep this very delicate looking And be sure to stick around till the end of the video. I'll post pictures of both of the reindeer cards that I created. Also, don't forget to check out the description box for links to all the products used. And if you have any questions regarding anything you've seen me do here, you can always leave it in the comments. I will always get back to you. And please don't forget to check out our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can post your versions of the paintings and techniques learned on this channel. All right, so now I have finished creating my little shadow on the left side of all my icing, and I'm just taking another fine liner with a thicker nib and writing Merry Christmas. I also decided to create a little shadow on, uh, or rather to define my reindeer by creating an outline with the fine finer nib the size 005 and again added a little black line to define my border a little bit more then I used the gel pen to go uh, around that red border and create some white stripes kind of like a candy cane while we're nearing the end of the video I hope that you enjoyed it and that you give it a try please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.